Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before you begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and this is fixed sign energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. So this is an energy of um, changes happening, unexpected changes. Um, this is also a situation that is turning around here, and it's it's in a positive way. It's for the best. It, there's this um, energy of the universe really blessing a situation. So even though everything here is looking a bit unexpected, unpredictable, or it's in divine timing, it is definitely a change that you will um, be quite glad to have had. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Five of Wands, Fire Energy, the Eight of Cups, Water Energy, and the World Card, Fixed Sign Energy. Okay, so it does look like there's going to be an end to conflict or a conflicting situation. With the Five of Wands, we're seeing this as a situation where there may have been a lot of competition, um, you know, a lot of competing, fighting, um, a power struggle, you know, feeling feeling almost overpowered by other people. So outside influences in the situation could also be um, affecting the situation negatively. And there's just almost this energy here of you removing yourself from that situation. Um, there's going to be an end to this conflict or you are removing yourself from the, the situation where you feel like you need to compete to be seen or to be heard. There's just this energy of someone here choosing to walk away and recognizing that something is no longer serving them. And this is on your own volition. There's this energy of you making this decision for yourself. With the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's choosing themselves above a situation that they may have invested in a lot emotionally, a lot of time, effort, energy, um, but for whatever reason, that situation didn't give back. Um, so there is this energy of something is finally clicking and um, there is this energy of leaving this behind, knowing that you deserve better, knowing your worth and walking towards your fulfillment. Okay, so there's definitely a situation that is being abandoned here. And we also have the world card, which does show an energy of endings, uh, closing a, a chapter, closing a cycle. You may even feel like you've gotten some sort of closure, the sufficient closure that you need to let something go. This is letting go of something that, that isn't healthy for you, something that has been hurting you more than it's been adding to your life so it's not like you're leaving something that was fulfilling so there's definitely this energy of um successfully choosing yourself and with the world card it is an if a closing of a cycle but it's also an energy of rewards so there is definitely a more um it's like you're moving towards your fulfillment it's something of a blessing here even if it's a bit bittersweet with that eight of cups there is this energy of um the, it's it's karmic, it's fated, it's leading you towards something better. So let's clarify these cards, Cancer.
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords, and this is a energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is also an energy of moving on from betrayal, moving on from bitterness, moving on from a painful ending. So there's um, healing that is finally starting here. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse this time, and this is air energy. I mean, water energy, sorry. And this, and then we have the Hierophant, and this is Taurus energy. And we have the Two of Cups, water energy. Okay, so there's definitely this energy of moving on, moving towards your fulfillment. And with the Eight of Cups being in the reverse, so this is addressing something. Um, this this doesn't have to be going back to a situation that you already walked away from, although it could be. But in this context, it could also be um, addressing your emotions. So um, allowing yourself to feel something. Also allowing yourself to acknowledge something here, yeah, something emotional. And, you know, not choosing not to avoid your feelings, choosing not to run away from your feelings. There is this energy of um, almost getting a better understanding of how you feel and, you um, this is actually beneficial to your healing. Um, something unexpected may happen in this situation. We have the Wheel of Fortune and we also have the Two of Cups here. So there is this energy of you could come to some sort of better understanding of the situation. Um, you could also get some sort of uh, reunion here where someone apologizes to you or you and this person get on the same page in, in terms of something. Um, this doesn't have to, be, have to be reconnecting. This could be um, understanding each other, getting some sort of compassion for each other um, so that you can successfully close a certain cycle here. With the Hierophant being there, it's also a lesson, you know, some sort of uh, spiritual lesson that has been gained here. And we're seeing empathy, understanding. So there will definitely be an ending to bitterness, feelings of resentment. There is this energy of having compassion for self. But we also see it with the Two of Cups. It could be having mutual compassion. You could also find that this person um, is coming towards you with empathy. Or you and this person could come to some sort of point where you forgive each other. And you are able to look at a situation and understand it from a perspective where it doesn't hurt anymore um so there is this growth that is happening here with the heart fans okay so there's definitely some sort of understanding care for the situation and it, it's it's quite unexpected because there is this energy here with the eight of cups you could be walking away thinking that you would never ever connect with this person again you could never forgive this person but um there is this this doesn't have to be happening quickly but there is this energy of there will be a time where you will be able to look at the situation with um, more compassionate eyes. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Cancer. So the card says luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius okay so there is an, an optimistic energy here there is this energy here of things are going to work out in your favor we have the wheel of fortune we have the world card and the sagittarius energy which is a very um lucky energy um the successful energy so it does look like um there is a light at the end of the tunnel something here is definitely it won't hurt forever there's this energy of you finding what you want um, this could be you getting into a, a more fulfilling connection this connection here may teach you or show you what um, is in alignment with you and what isn't and you could you are being led towards something that is more in alignment with you this could also be you and this person getting on good terms um, almost like a, a, a forgiving energy or a, um, an understanding compassionate energy um, it could even be a friendship of some sort, but there is just this energy in this reading of you won't be hurting forever. There's this energy of letting go of bitterness and finding actual love, something that is in, in alignment with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Cancer.
Okay, so the card says separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So there is a kidnap message with the Eight of Cups. There is this energy of walking away from something, taking time away from a situation and really going on some sort of solo journey or taking time for yourself and really um it's, it's like you're getting some sort of insight because we have the hierophant which is a, an energy of wisdom understanding some sort of lesson is being learned um and it, it's really redirecting you towards your true path your real soulmate your actual fulfillment okay so i'm going to provide another card for you cancer So the card says, Sweet William, gallantry grant me a single smile. Sweet William Small has form and aspect bright, like that sweet flower that yields great Jove delights. Okay, so definitely there, there is some sort of um, fulfillment that you are walking towards, you're moving towards it. And it does look like you're going through the darkness in order to get to the light. So it won't be an easy journey. It won't be a comfortable one, but you are definitely being led towards some sort of a two of cups here, which is really fulfillment, which is, you know, bliss, it's love, it's reciprocity. And with this energy, it's, it's like, you're going to be delighted. There's this energy of you'll be happy. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, though, it is almost like a, it's an, there's going to be some unexpected turns here. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is unpredictable, but it is ultimately leading you towards um, fulfillment. Um, there is this energy of blessings from the universe, and it can feel like blessings in disguise, but there is this energy here with the Two of Cups that you will have your fulfillment. Okay, whether it's with this person or it's with someone else, um, there is this energy of beating bitterness and um, reaching some sort of real love. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.